Hey there, I'm Kieran Galaxia and welcome to The Gamer. Sable is finally here and we're ready to prime our engine on our hover bike and blast across the sandy landscapes of this gorgeous exploration game. You might, however, be thrown off when you start the game as you won't be gliding around on the sands, but, well, walking on them, on your feet which distinctly does not look like a hover bike. Have no fear though, we're here to tell you as and when you'll be together with your designated ride. So yeah, like we stated, when you start Sable, you won't actually have that beautiful hover bike you've been seeing in all the trailers. But what you will have is your own two feet, a head for exploration, and a few errands to run. You guessed it, before it's time for you to get your bike, it's time for you to go through the genuinely heartfelt and pretty great tutorial. First things first, time to charge up your Glidestone, given to you by your pal in the village. And the temple's a way out. But have no fear, your pal Dress has your bike and definitely hasn't forgotten about it. Except, um, they have. So you get this thing. Sorry pal, you messed up. Ride out to the temple, get your Glidestone charged, return on the clunker, and you'll be given a quest to speak to Saizo, the local village machinist. If someone knows bikes, it's them. So head on up to Saizo and ask them about the bike. You won't get it this way though. What, did you think it would just be as easy as asking? You might have a pilgrimage to get underway, but a bike is an important bond to be formed in this world. And how better to build that bond than building your very own bike? Saizo will give you a quest to obtain three parts. One of them is over in some mountains, testing your ability to traverse the world of Sable. The other is inside an old dam, which is possibly the simplest of locations. And the last is inside an old crashed out spaceship. At the spaceship, you'll meet the true villain of the game. This small child. They've taken what you need, and they'll only give it you back if you give them some beetles. As annoying as this might sound, hey, no pilgrimage was ever met without hardship. I'm sure some philosopher said that. You'll need to get three of these beetles, and in order to get their attention, you'll need to get some seeds down for them. While you only need three, it's worth trying to catch all of them, as you can sell them for some cuts, the in-game currency. Bring the beetles back to the kid and get your bike part. Now head back to the machinist and get building joining together with the bike and becoming one. You'll even learn the bike's name, but I'll leave that for you to find out. Yeah, so you've built the bike, but now isn't the time to ride the bike. Yep, one more test, but this one's important. This is you gaining your first mask, a big part of the pilgrimage you undertake in Sable. Heading back to the temple you started the game at, this time the giant face opens up, welcoming you inside. In here, you have to complete three challenges, pressing three buttons to activate the altar in the middle to reveal the Ibex mask. Take it, and as you head back to your colony, you'll notice that everyone is gone. This moment is bittersweet, as while your family may be gone, it's time for you to begin your pilgrimage proper. It's time for you to ride out into the vast sands of Midden on your brand new, totally customizable hoverbike. So that's how you gain your hoverbike in Sable. It might feel like it takes some time, but it's a worthwhile introduction for you to take your time in, learning the feel of traversal and the feel of the bike beneath you, even if that first bike is a bit of a wreck. But now, with your new machine at your side, you've got the whole world ahead of you, and I hope you enjoy the journey. Thanks again for swinging on by. If you enjoyed this, then liking the video would be great. And hey, why not subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you fancy it. If you want to read more guides like this alongside other features, news and reviews, then check out thegamer.com. And hey, have yourself a good day, yeah?